I cannot believe that I got to go on the ground at Lords. Yo, today I'm heading to Lords Cricket Ground to watch a county championship match, Middlesex versus Sussex. I'm currently in whatever suburb Lords is in. If you haven't watched the first four vlogs, please go back and watch those. Personally, I think they're bangers. And this is five in a row, five days in a row. So, gotta give me some sort of props for that. I'm about five minutes away from Lords. I'm meeting the bro from the airport, the one that uh, recognized me at Heathrow Airport and gave me a fist bump. He ended up messaging me and yeah, we're going to Lords together to watch some cricket, so fun times. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. And comment down below where you are watching from. I love seeing where people are watching, country, state, city, suburb, whatever you want to say, whatever you're comfortable with. Let me know in the comments. Let's go watch some cricket. I'm at the top of Lord Stadium right now. This is absolutely unbelievable. There's not a single person in these stands behind me. Everyone is down on the ground floor. Yeah, this is fantastic. Absolutely crazy, this stadium. It's, it's a way different than coming to watch cricket at the MCG or anywhere in Australia, just different vibe. Check out this view. Check out the ground. Unbelievable. It reminds me so much of playing like Ricky Ponting 04 on the PS2, like with the big that big area there but this is just fucking sick to be here definitely something that I can tick off my bucket list this is the practice wicket facilities over here behind the stadium. This is the stadium. I'm just coming out to get a to get a beverage in there. And I saw the ground staff out here preparing some wickets and the outfield. Yeah, so this is the practice field that's behind me. Pretty fucking nuts. But top tier. Top tier standard, obviously what you would expect from a high level elite ground like Lords and the ground staff here obviously do a fantastic job. Yeah bro. Hey bro, how are you? Not bad. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Two Kiwis, two Aussies on our team this season. Oh, true. Yeah. Um, how did they She's from Melbourne. She worked Oh, she's in Melbourne. She, the other guy's from Adelaide Oval. What a facility. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. No, it's, it's pretty good. So this is just all the practice facilities out here? Yeah, so even though there's the nursery in the middle that gets used for practices and yep. a couple games here and there, and then square all the way across for practices, and then all the way down that side for practices as well. Yep. I'm assuming it's all just ryegrass. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. probably the best for this climate, eh? Yeah, yeah. I definitely didn't think that I was going to have anyone notice me out <laughs> Well, I mean, we've got overall turfies here. Yeah, so. yeah, true. I, well, I, I don't know. I guess I don't, I'm unaware of the following. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm here now on a holiday and just sort of filming some shit and keep myself busy and playing cricket tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah. But I've sort of told everyone. I'm open to whatever happens. Like if, if a job came up anywhere that I was like, like it would fit, it'd fit, I'd be like, yeah, this is sick. I'll I'll stay for a bit. But it would be a shame because you took turn that ground around. Yeah, I know. Oh, I won't I won't I'm, hold you too long. No, I feel like I'm holding you up. You're the one fucking getting paid to be nah. <laughs> to do this, brother. All right. Well, thanks for the chat, mate. No, no, we'll Cheers. Nice. See you, mate. You too. Yeah. Let me know if a job comes up. <laughs> well, that was good to chat to some of the ground staff. Got recognised by them. That was uh, didn't think that was going to happen today. lunchtime of the cricket and we're just allowed to walk out of here. This is Sam, uh, he's the guy at the airport that said good day, come here, get him in the vlog. Shout um, out Jack Seymour. <laughs> shout out Seymour, but out here on Lords, never thought I would actually be on the turf out here in the middle of a cricket match, allowed to come out here and touch it. You, you don't see this happen in Australia. This is absolutely wild. Got to touch the grass. Gonna have a look at the pitch now. 
Mate, this is fucking insane. Mate, you gotta, you gotta do the Matt Real and eat the grass, oh, I reckon. <laughs> Post-game activities, man. Who knows what's going on? Oh, he's what? He's what? I'm on Lord's sports field right now. I'm literally out in the middle of the ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout out uh, Matt Real, Gold Coast Suns player, and I'm gonna eat some grass out here because not many people would eat grass at Lord's. All right, let's do a Lord's grass taste test review. <laughs> it's fucking shit. <laughs> don't, know, don't, don't know why Matt, Matt Real eats grass, but not a sustainable diet. What a what a bizarre occurrence to be able to just walk out in the middle of Lord's cricket ground, like probably one of the most iconic cricket grounds in the entire world, and. I'm fucking walking on it right now. Like, look at this. The pitch is right behind me. Look, the pitch is right there. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. So the dude on the roller just there is the guy that I was talking to outside in the practice facility. I'm gonna hope that he sees my uh, sees me out here. Oh friend. Oh friend. Groundskeeper oh. friend. Hey mate. A bad man. How are you? Fucking come see you, brother. <laughs> Nah, you don't mind if I'm... Nah, you don't mind, mate. I've been, I've been following you on the socials for a few years. Oh, bullshit. Yeah. Um, you want to get in the vlog? <laughs> you can if you want. What's your name, sir? Caleb. This is Caleb. Whereabouts are you from? Adelaide. Oh, fucking fellow Aussie. All good. Adelaide Oval. Oh, That's all good. Um, How'd you end up out here? So, they needed, needed summer casuals, so they flew me in a few Kiwis. Fuck yeah, I see. Yeah. I, what, what's the go, like... You don't see this happen at the MTG where you can just come out of here. And I, actually, I actually found out about an hour ago this was happening. Oh. So. <laughs> I don't actually know either. We walked, like we got a drink before and then walked past and saw a thousand people out here. I was like, oh shit, what's you going keep, on? You keep the good day together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it only, like not every day? Nah, nah, this is the first for a while apparently, yeah. So. Fuck yeah, that's sick. Yeah, you keep the Never, good day. I, I, you, know, um, you know Matt Riel? From yeah. Dog, where he ate the grass. Yeah. Don't tell anyone, but I ate the grass over there. Just yeah, might as well take some home grass, Yeah, grass food review. So, it's not sustainable, it didn't yeah. taste that good. <laughs> What do you like? What's the difference with the soil? Um, um, it's like 30, it's like, 20, 27 cent, 30 cent clay. Yeah, right. So it's like, but when it's in the bag, it looks like like a loam. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Weird. But yeah, because I got told it was mostly loam. Yeah, it's, um, it's yeah. Does it com like it compacts alright or? Yeah, it co compacts alright after a while. That's why they got to roll it so often. Like yep. you just constantly bang it's it down bang, and you start yeah, it so yeah. late. Like these these two are for corporate games next next yep. Friday. What's a corporate game? Um, so they see Jim, uh, JP Morgan get out all the sponsors and that. Jay Morgan get all the sponsors out and then they bring like Joe Root and Ollie Robinson out to bowl a few to them. Oh yeah, yeah right. Money, so. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Joe Root bowling wouldn't Yeah, yeah. So we're going to try and make a nice flat for him. Alright, I'm just smoking. <laughs> I was going to come back out to the practice facilities and ask God to do a tour next week, but I mean, I'm pretty out, pretty much out here anyway, but if, nah. if I actually, if, if there is yeah. a possibility nah, coming I'll, in. I'll talk to the boss. Yeah. For sure, mate. Um, do you have me on Instagram or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, send yeah. me a message yeah, and let me time. know because I'm going to any other day next week. It'd be fucking yeah. sick to actually get out. Everyone's yeah. commenting on like the YouTube shit going, do a tour of Lords, do a tour of Lords. I'm like, if I'm doing a tour of Lords, I'd rather actually yeah. get out of here. Bit, like, bit of VIP training. Yeah, like, I, I, well, more so just like, I want to be on the grass, not fucking yeah. learning all the history and stuff. Like, I want to actually, like, this is what I do. So, yeah, exactly, <laughs> be yeah, sick. Be no, I appreciate it, man. No, thanks, for, man. thanks for chatting. Easy. Um, good, good luck with everyone. Yeah. And, yeah, send me a message. Yeah, message right? yeah cheers, mate. Thanks. Right. Fucking, that was pretty sick to chat to one of the ground staff here. He's from Adelaide, so trying to organise a tour for next week, hopefully. Hopefully he does send me a message and I can get out here again next week and get a bit of it. Groundskeeper friend. Oh, groundskeeper friend. Oh, friend. Insert the in-betweeners clip right now. Oh, friend. Oh, new friend. Friend. Oh, friend. He's my friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Fuck you lot, where's the beer? Holy shit, what an experience. I'm back in Hammersmith now, just heading home. I only watched a few hours of the cricket. I wasn't actually there for the cricket, I was there for the grass, but cricket is something that I also enjoy. But after we had lunch, I was a bit, I was a bit full, a little bit tipsy, and I've got plans tonight as well, so I'm heading out for a few drinks with someone for their birthday. So I'm gonna go meet them in a couple of hours. So I thought I'd better, better get home and rest up and maybe start editing this video as well. But 
I cannot believe that I got to go on the ground at Lords just on a random day of watching cricket. That they just allowed everyone to go out there. It was bizarre. But I talked to the ground staff there, a couple of blokes there, so shout out to them. They were obviously in this video. And he messaged me just before, and I'm going back on Wednesday to do a proper tour on the field, like proper VIP sort of tour on the grass with the ground staff. So unbelievable. I'm not sure if I can record anything on the day. That's yet to be determined, but I'm still flabbergasted that the ground staff at Lords knew who I was, um, and they'd seen that all like sort of seen my content throughout the years. And yeah, that was the last thing I was expecting out of today. So fucking forever grateful for that and shout out to all those guys that I met there um, I really appreciate the offer of coming back on Wednesday and thank you for taking the time out of your day today to talk to me and um, like sort of give me a bit of insight as well anyway got to play cricket tomorrow as well so I can't get too drunk tonight stay tuned for that one because that's gonna be a good one hopefully I actually make some runs thanks for watching bread uh -huh.